What's up YouTube? Today we are making Cytron's vocal effects with the new Reason BVX Multimode Vocoder. So the folks at Reason did actually send me the new vocoder for the purpose of this video. That being said is you guys, I'm sure you guys know how I feel about vocoders. I absolutely love them for several different tasks, not just vocal processing. And I have actually done a more in-depth video on the new rack extension for the Reason YouTube channel. So definitely go check that out. Anyway, before diving into the video, let's have a listen to some quick examples of the sound that we're gonna be creating today. So firstly, I want to show you guys what the source sound is. It's taken from the UVI World Suite. And I'm going to just turn off all of the effects processes that are happening on the sound. But the reason I chose this particular sample is it's you hear where it's got these kind of like vibratos where they kind of like the pitch wobbles like that this creates a really interesting effect when you use something like this uh, vocoder effect that i'm going to um, explain to you guys so let's just dive into the reason rack and have a look at what's happening with the sound so what i'm going to do is show you the show you the patch that I've set up and then we're gonna initialize it and I'm gonna show you how to set it up again from scratch. It's really, really simple. I haven't actually done anything to the actual patch itself. I've just changed the kind of scale and modulated the formant a little bit over here. So let me show you what happens here when we initialize this. So let's go reset device. And then if we set autoplay over here, what's gonna happen is it's going to take the input signal and use that as the pitch to determine what pitch the synth carrier is gonna play automatically. So what I usually do is I turn, turn the speed up and then I click to scale. So now the trick is to actually punch in the notes of the scale that we're working in. I think this track is in F. I think it's actually F sharp. So if we put in notes that we know are in the scale from the track that we're working in, it's going to, for example, do those wobbles, but maintain a sensible pitch that's still kind of musical and relative to the context of the track that we're working in. So here I've put in the F sharp Phrygian scale, which is the F sharp, the G, the A, the D, and the E. And then this is the result. So you see here, we can kind of dial in these kind of slide uh, glide settings using the speed and the portamento as well. Um, I like it when it's very sharp, so there's not actually much portamento going on. So I'm gonna turn the time down and the speed up. Um, and then this formant over here creates a really nice effect, um, almost like a filter sweep in the sound. And the spectral spread basically just adds stereo to the sound. So these two parameters are quite integral to this particular sound that we're creating today. So obviously, depending on the context and where you want to fit it into the track, you may want to change the octaves over here. I'm just going to leave this at zero for now because I kind of like that mid to high frequency sound that's going on. Kind of gives me a very spongly kind of vibe to it. So I'm just going to enable the modulation that I've already created on this track to give that to give that form and some movement. And then we're going to look at some of these effects over here. So it's literally what I've applied is some EQ 
uh, some delay over here with a bit of a ping pong setting going on and then some uh, reverb just to make the sound a little bit bigger in the mix. So these types of things I like to use in two different ways, either by stretching the sample out and creating like a long melodic sequence out of it, or by chopping the sample up and then adding uh, longer delay tails. So let's say for example, hold alt and chop it in increments like this. And then with this one, what we want to do is we want to span it out so that one of these chops plays and then there's kind of like three bars break and then another chop plays and then three bars break. And then here we can jump into the delay, turn up the mix and the region. So also just another couple of bonus things. There are extra wave shapes that you can choose from. I guess this is kind of like a wavetable synth. Oh wow, that is so cool. I love that. I love that. It's so great for just instant inspiration. You know, just dragging samples in, snapping them to a scale and letting those samples create the synth for you. I think that's a very, very cool thing. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. A big thanks to Reason for sending me this rack extension for the purpose of this video. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. See you guys next time. Cheers.